excuses, giving you the best mortgage experience. Call us today at 8338-ROCKET or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn more. Rates subject to change. Pay 1.875% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. This is 757 Saturday Sports Talk with Matt Hatfield and Coach Ed Young on ESPN Radio 94.1. All right, it's time for the picks in week number three in the league where they play for pay. And we might have some, you never know, we might have some local flavor sprinkled in. The standings, Hatfield 6-0. and Franza 1-1 and on his Dino's dog. Not plural, it's just dog. And the coach, Ed Young, he is 3-3 three and three as he bounced back with a 2-1 and one performance a week ago. It is 757 Saturday Sports Talk brought to you by Larry King Law. If you're injured in an accident, you know who to call. 757-595-8100. That's 757 757- I-N-J-U-R-E-D for Larry King. Visit LarryKingLaw.com for more. By the way, Dino, uh, I see every MAC team will play three midweek games to start and then three Saturday games after Thanksgiving. This according to one of our first guests here on the Saturday program back in August, Chris Vanini of The Athletic. He got this from Bowling Green AD Bob Moosebrugger. Moosebrugger. Love that name. Sounds like a, a role John Candy would play in a movie. Hey, the boys have a, what is it, Wood, Wood on a Wednesdays on, on their show. We could get Moosebrugger on Mondays. Great, like that, Ed Moosebrugger. Yeah, and and Dino nailed it. I was just thinking, that's a character on a John Candy movie. (laughs) Absolutely. Have you recovered from the yellow socks with brown pants? But I I was looking in the VHSL manual doing break. I still can't find anything there regulates socks with color of uniform. I mean, that's how confusing is what I'm I was gonna trying to give, convey. I'm going to give Tom Tom a call. I apologize if I got a little too excited. Do the socks have a stripe? Uh, that's no, a no, 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 I got to do my investigating on that one there, you know, listen, and I want to emphasize, I have no problem with the athletes going somewhere, I just want them to be safe, and I want some games back, but I get a little frustrated from time to time, you know, Tom Dolan, if you're, fever. Tom Dolan, if you're listening, I love Tom, he's a good guy, he's Tom, got some people that aren't so this good, this is all on Matt, have. all on Matt, it was nothing I got no mind. issue with Tom, I got so, so some people he works with that might be a little, little flaky, but anyways, I wonder uh, Ken Tilly retired. Uh, anyways, let's go into picks here. I'm up first since I went six and zero or three and zero back to back here in a belly to belly, and I'm going to go with some seven five seven flavor. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I get this one wrong, guys, I'm blaming this on I don't know if it was Ian Rappaport or somebody I saw this morning on NFL Network because I had this one circled all week, and then somebody this morning, I kid you not, proclaimed it their lock of the week. I'm going to find out who that guy is, and if I'm wrong, I'm going to blame him and take no responsibility whatsoever, which is just right up my wheelhouse, right? I don't take responsibility, Ed. You know that. No, you don't. Anyways, um, I tell you who's going to take responsibility for a 3-0 and start, though. That is the head football coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our man Richie Somerville's Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Mike Tomlin, the coach out of Denby High, William & Mary. His team's playing well, and boy, the Texans getting it tough, guys. They open up with the Chiefs, Super Bowl champs to open the season. They get the Ravens last week. Sorry, you know you didn't get that one. And then you get the Steelers. That's maybe the three best teams in the AFC back to back to back. Oh, it's going to be a tough day for Watson and company. I think Pittsburgh only laying the four. I like the Steelers in this matchup to get the job done. I think Big Ben Roethlisberger is going to have a good game from one of his defensive standouts, too, who started at Virginia Tech and Terrell Edmonds, who had a sack a week ago. Give me Pittsburgh laying the four at home against the Texans as long as they win by more than a field goal, which the Ravens and Chiefs were able to do. I think we'll be fine here. Pittsburgh minus the four is the first pick. Ed, you get the next two, sir. Okay, this one I feel real comfortable with, so I'm going to make it as my first. Rams. Rams over Buffalo in a battle of the unbeatens at Buffalo. I think Buffalo's slightly overrated, Ooh. and I think the Rams are slightly underrated, and this will be the game to prove it. And the Bills have Terrell Edmonds, his brother, one of the E-boys, Tremaine Edmonds, one of the top young linebackers in the sport. So you're getting two. You're going to take Rams plus two, huh? I take Rams plus the two. All right. Ed takes Rams plus the two. That wasn't your dog there, was it? Do you know he didn't steal it from you, did he? No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, I do kind of like that one, though. All right. So Ed's going with the, uh, I guess, outright upset, unless you got them losing by a point. No. Outright upset. All right. What's now, your next Now, I'm, I'm torn. Like paper, I'm torn on this next one. Just make sure your suits aren't torn because that would be a big problem. No, them too, they're too expensive. Um, now, let me flip this coin here and see which one of these two. I, well, I get the next two, right? Heads or no. tails? What do you call them? I get one more. You get one more. Yeah. Dang it. Um, give me. I, okay. I, I, they got to win sooner or later, and I think this is the one. Ooh. Philly. 
Phillies is is uh, getting four and a half. No, they're giving up four and a half. Or are they getting four and a half? Philadelphia E A G L E S Eagles. You're stealing one of my picks here. I am not happy with you. They are laying four and a half at home against Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Also, not just Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Andrew Brown out of Oscar Smith High and the UVA, a member of those Bengals too. Give me the, give me Philly over outright over since. By the way, that's the Tiger versus Tiger matchup. You got Josh Sweat, former Oscar Smith star with the Eagles playing one of his former teammates in Andrew Brown. So you're going with Sweat sweat to make the Bengals sweat and taking yep. Philly lay in the four and a half, says Edward Vincent Young. His two picks so far, Rams plus two, Eagles laying the four and a half. You know, uh, Dino, I don't want to steal your dog here. Is, is your dog a team that is uh, lacking a nickname? Uh, no, no. Okay. It's not the team. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with the team to make it a dream, as our buddy Coach Hatch likes to say. We're the, the team to make it a dream. Go team! Home. Go team! Go with the team. I hope that the football team plays a good football game in the football stadium against the other football team, and that team being the Washington football team, led by a number of guys with Virginia flavor as far as Virginia Tech goes, and uh, you think of Kendall Fuller and Tim Settle and Greg Stroman and Logan Thomas, who uh, was targeted nine times, only had four catches, didn't play too hot. Nonetheless, they also got a guy who, by the way, did play in a 7-5-7. I said this before on the program, and I'll say it again. Jonathan Allen, though he started at Stonebridge High School and then went on to Alabama, he began his high school career at Western Branch High in Chesapeake. Nonetheless, here I'm going to go with the Washington football team. They're getting seven against the Cleveland Browns. When's the last time the Browns have been favored by seven or more? I don't trust them whatsoever. I don't trust Baker Mayfield. I don't trust Odell Beckham. And just because they're laying seven, if they blow out Washington, then that's going to end Washington's season. they got a couple tough games on the horizon through the team that, that, that used to be known as the Redskins. I'm going to go with Washington here plus the seven. And I'm going to tell you what, I think they're going to flirt with the outright upset here on the road in the state of Ohio. Give me Washington plus the seven for my second selection. And, you know, you're safer for my third selection. I was looking at another NFC, NFC team getting points, which Ed may try to steal here at the end from you. I'm going to look at the over-under in a football game. You heard Leroy Keyes talk about Jackson Mahomes and all the excitement, and people are already in their brains thinking this is going to be like that Rams-Chiefs game a few years ago that's last team of the ball wins, 54-48. It could happen. I think the defensive players are angry hearing all week about Mahomes, Jackson, Mahomes, Jackson. Two of them in particular, right here out of the 757. You heard us talk about him. Chuck Clark, Kings Fork High School. We've had him on the show. Baltimore Ravens, safety, one of the best in the league. I think he's going to have maybe a dozen tackles or more. Might get a takeaway in this game. And another one, he had six tackles last week, by the way. And Derek Nottie out of Ocean Lakes, he had nine tackles total from his defensive tackle spot in that win over the Tyrod Titterless Chargers in overtime a week ago. So give me under 54 and a half. That's a lot of points, by the way. Mm, going under. Under. That's, I don't like to take a lot of unders. Under 54 and a half with the Chiefs and the Ravens. And I'm banking on you, Naughty. I'm banking on your Clark. I'm pulling for my 757 guys here on 757 Saturday Sports Talk to keep it just below that 55-point threshold and make sure I get myself to, dare I say, 7-0, 8-0, maybe 9-0. I can dream just like the Washington football team. Just for the heck of it, who do you have winning that game? Uh, for the heck of it, I got... Boy, that's a great question. I think Baltimore's going to eat, but I think they're a three-and-a-half-point favorite, so I might take the Chiefs getting the three-and-a-half. I might say the Ravens by a field goal. We'll say something like 27-24, so it just goes under that total. Mm, interesting. Yeah. All right, so again, my recap of my picks. Steelers minus four, Washington football team plus seven, and under 54-and-a-half with KC Baltimore. Ed's got Rams plus two. Philly minus four and a half, and your last selection before the much anticipated Dino Dog. Go ahead. Okay. They got to win sooner or later, and and this other team has to lose sooner or later. So, give me the Vikings. Ooh, <laughs> is that the one you had, Dino? Did he steal it from you? He's laughing in there. You are. Give mean me guy. the Vikings, and you I stole I, it. I hope I didn't step on Dino's toes. You're a thief. Well, I gotta agree with you on that one. Minnesota uh, over Tennessee outright. Minnesota. Problem with them is their defense. They got one of the worst defenses. But they got the Jalen Holmes. Yeah, Jalen, you got to pick it up. Get your, get your guys around you to pick it up. Of course, Jalen had a lot on his mind lately. 
Yeah, I don't know if people saw it. Jalen actually had his house broken into and his national championship ring stolen. Yeah, I saw that. Which we're, we love Jalen. He's been on. Uh, our, he's been on with us many a times. So we hope they can find that. It's just terrible to see. But and, and I'm gonna tell you right now, Kirk Cousins got to play better too. By the way. Well, yeah. And by the way, the people who stole that. You better be careful because if Jalen brings his seven five seven buddies up there, somebody going down. So you're going with the Vikings. Yeah, because Tennessee going down to Minnesota. And, you know Tennessee. They're two and zero. They're good. Yeah. The Vikings are 0 2. Are they really that bad, though? They're at home. I'll take the Vikings getting the three points. Normally, you'd have that loud crowd there. It's not happening, but I don't see the Vikings going 0 3. I, I, I'll take them at home getting the points. The three, that's Dino's dog for this week. There you go. So either Ed and Dino will be celebrating together or miserable together. One or the other. Uh, well, there, there's your picks again. Uh, Dino going with the Vikings plus the three, as is Ed. Uh, Philadelphia minus four and a half for Ed as well. And the Rams plus two. I've got Pittsburgh minus four, under 54 and a half with the Ravens and Chiefs, and plus seven with the Washington football team. That'll do it for hour one. We've got a half hour for hour two here before Oklahoma, Kansas State comes your way. And coming up next, we'll talk to a 757 standout. He is the director of the brand new Virginia Beach Sports Center when it comes to basketball, the director that is, uh, Cape Henry Hall of Famer Terrell Allen. It comes your way next on ESPN Radio 94.1. Broadcasting from the Huffman & Huffman Brothers-in-Law Studio.